favorites. Hi, here we are in oil and water. I have some special extra content for you today. You know how sometimes in fashion magazines they ask a celebrity like, what's in your handbag? Well, today we're gonna do what's in your fridge? Cause you know, that's the oil and water handbag, the fridge. We're just actually gonna do the main part of the fridge today. There's vegetables and things down here. And this is the freezer. Da, 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 da. We'll start with the top shelf. I'm, I'm actually a little too short to see very far through the top shelf, but I can tell you pretty much what's in it by looking at the bottom of the jar. So there's ginger, crunchy garlic, chili oil for the Asian recipes, some jam, honeycomb, obviously, I can see that. I always keep jars of lemon and lime juice already squeezed. Great for recipes, cocktails, whatever you need. Very handy, handy. And if you think you won't use this much that quickly, you can put it in ice cube trays and freeze it just as good. There's also some vitamins in here, which I don't take very much. What are they? Oh, B12, I could probably use that. Vitamin D. Oh, very good. I should definitely take those. Oh, what's that? It's a mystery jar. Some bruschetta. It's good, but it's not great. I wanted it to be better. Let's see if it's improved. This is the original tasting. Back into the fridge. All-purpose chili oil sauce made with shiitake mushrooms. It's oily. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, so. And hot dude that is not medium i should remember to use that maybe as a hail mary so these bottles have like four of these bottles in the fridge no more plastic bottles i'm trying to do my part to save the environment a bottle of wine working rosé i'm sort of more of a cocktail kind of a girl ricotta and i bought this to mix with mashed cauliflower and some butter like faux mashed potato good. I highly recommend. That actually comes from Chrissy Teigen. Hi Chrissy. This is really the best fresh salsa you can find in a supermarket. Roasted, yummy, goodness. It really is good for all of the things. Brown butter cauliflower bisque. I like everything about that phrase. So this shelf is sort of for things that don't stay long, except for the sauces in the back. Try to group them by global region. Marinara sauce, good for a lot of things. Asian sauces, fish sauce, tamari, A1, coffee tea, corner, commissary, with some coconut milk, half and half. This shelf, this is like where the eating happens. This is the eating shelf. Ooh, look, yummy. I roasted some little tiny potatoes for snacks. Mmm, crispy, tender. I like them better warm, but damn good. These are the best beans. Beans. Take them dry, throw a Parmesan rind in there, some water, some herbs, and then cook them for about three hours. I know they don't look that good right here, but they've retained their shape. But they're soft, beautifully savory, delicious, full, so good. I know you want them. I know you do. I always try to have some fruit in here, some cut up pineapple. Yummy, delicious, it'll be gone in two days. I often make something that I'll then eat for a few days. And that, a Greek rice bake with, it's got some mushrooms in it, leeks, some Parmesan, herbs, super delish. Some more condiments on this side, like pickled things. There's some olives, sliced pepperoncini, which are yummy, capers. Here's where it starts to look like a frat boy's fridge. More mystery sauce, mother-in-law's fermented chili sauce. Oh, it's, I don't know how you say it. Gochujang, although it comes up in recipes a lot now. <coughs> it's fuzzy. It's just tangy. <clears throat> it's your everything sauce. For some reason, there are two open bottles of ketchup. Unclear. All right, we got four mustards. Tofu. It says, I'm medium firm and I love to mingle. That is totally in keeping with the oil and water. And then there's some uh, barbecue sauce. Gotta have barbecue sauce though, you know, and it seems to keep for a long time. Various kinds of grated cheese, Pecorino Romano, parmi sort of flakes, and Parmesan thing shredded. 
blah. Oh, and then here, this is like either didn't make it into the onto the A level, but you still need them. This is cat food for a zipper and petunia, obviously. Put a little cap on the can, and then when I put it in the bowl, I microwave it for seven seconds. So it's the perfect room temperature for them. Spoiled? A little. Also, there's also like four different kinds, because they're like, I don't, today I'm not, I don't, I'm not eating turkey today. Do you have any white fish? Let me check for you. This is handy. Tomato paste in a tube. You don't have to open the little six ounce can or three ounce can. And then you're like, what the f do I do with the rest of the tomato paste? This is the solution to that. A bunch of meats and cheeses. All right, and then there's vegetables and then beverages below, but we'll save that for another day. There you have it, favorites. Thank you so much for joining me for What's in Your Fridge. Okay, good. We'll see you here next time. Thanks for joining me.